Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use one dimensional array in Turbo C++ without using loops. Once again, I repeat the topic how to use one dimensional array in Turbo C++ without loops. And this is my duty. I want to explain you what is meant by array and how many types of arrays are there. An array is used to store identical data types under a single name or under a common name. Once again, what is an array? An array is used to store identical data types under a single name or under a common name in con continuous memory location. There are two types of array in basic. One is one dimensional array, other one is two dimensional array. Okay. And if you don't have Turbo C++, just visit my blog www.karthik.blogspot.in where you can able to find Turbo C++ for Windows 7 and Windows 8 in full screen mode. Now in order to achieve the task, we should open Turbo C++. So here is Turbo C++ in which I have installed on my PC. Just double click it in order to open it. Just wait, it will open. So, this is in Turbo C++ editor where we are going to key in the code. You guys are well aware all C++ program starts with the preprocessor ASH followed by the keyword include IO stream dot H where IO stands for input and output stream dot H stands for header file followed by ASH include con io dot h and then proceed with the main method void main i'm going to use void main if you wish to use integer main you can able to use it and then i'm going to use a method clr scr what is the use of clr scr used to clear the previous value or used to clear the screen okay and then I'm going to use an array the type of array is integer a name of array is a and let's say size is 2 so as well as I'm going to assign the values for array let us say you want to use curly braces in order to assign the values. Let us say 22,3. So why? Because what is the size of array? The size of the array is 2. So I can able to use only the two values. Now I'm going to display the values. Let us say a of 0, the first location. And I'm going for the new line by using the statement nl and then I'm going to display the second location a of 1 and then I'm going to use the method called as get ch in order to hold the output screen until or unless the user key in any value okay and then compile the program where you can able to find warning is zero error is zero and then run the program where you can able to see 22 and 3 so now for better understanding I'm going to add few things let us say uh, a of 0 equal to and this one is let us say a of 1 is equal to so now compile the program the shortcut is control f9 so where you can able to find a of 0 is 22 and a of 1 is 3 and this is one type and second type I'm going to do some small modification in this program so now I'm going to assign the value let us say a of 0 equal to 45 and a of 1 equal to 
22. So where I'm going to assign the value 45 to the location A of 0 and 22 to the location A of 1. Just compile the program. What is the shortcut? Yes, it's a control F9. So now we can able to see A of 0 equal to 45 and A of 1 equal to 22. Once again, I explain the program. All C++ program starts with the preprocessor ash include is a keyword and followed by the header file iostream.hsm header file and I'm going to use ash include con iO.h in order to use CLR and get CH methods and followed by void main the first line read by the compiler will be the void main I'm going to use CLR SCR in order to clear the previous outputs I'm going to declare an array the name of the array is a the type of the array is integer and the size is 2 I'm going to store the value 45 in the first location A of 0. So array index always starts with 0. And second location A of 1, the value is 22. And I'm going to display the location and the values. So now you can able to see the flow of the compiler. So the first line read by the compiler will be the void main. You can check it out. See the, the blue color line is the first line read by the compiler and then it goes to CLR SCR and it moves to the declaration part and now A of 0 equal to 45 and A of 1 equal to 22 so I was going to display the method and see and this is the end of the program so this is an, the process of execution by the compiler I think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you